Hey, 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 it's Sunday night. We're getting ready to do a little energy focusing for the week. Yeah, come on in and join me. We focus our energy, we honor this full moon, this beautiful moon. So come on in and let's take a few moments to center our energy as we prepare to start out that week. Yeah, come on in everybody. I'm Terry and Hyman with Natural Forces Studio and the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. Yes, and I'd like to offer you this opportunity now just to come in. We're going to look a little bit of that energy of the full moon, how it affects us and what's going on and how we can prepare energetically for the week ahead. So how is that full moon affecting you? Can you tell? Does it affect you at all? Give me a thumbs up if you notice a difference. Give me a thumbs up if that moon, give me a moon, if that moon has come into your life and made some little stirs this weekend. Yes, let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you're out there. Give me a hashtag moon if that moon has been affecting you. All right, and as you do that, go ahead and share this for me. I'm going to go ahead and share it to my group, the Empowered Spirit Circle. I'd love for you to come and join our group. We have lots going on in there. So if you would, just hit share. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you're out there. Facebook has changed their look again, so I'm not even sure. I've been away for a little bit. So come on in. It's not quite 7. We're going to start at 7. We're going to do a little energy reading. We're going to talk about this full moon. Here we go. And we're going to look at how we can really prepare our week and our energy going forward. All right, I'm going to share the group. Please do as well. Come on over, it's the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. We have lots of fun things, and even this month, I'm going to be offering lots of specials because it's my birthday, and I'm turning into a new gender, a new decade, and I'm going to be offering lots of free readings. I've got my book coming again around for two years that's going to be out celebrating a birthday with it. So come on over and join the Empowered Spirit Circle. I'd love for you to be part of it. There we go. I shared it once. If you could do the same, that would be super great. I would love to have you in there. Share for me. It helps more people find it. So here we go. Let's share it. There we go. All right. Here we go. Come on in. We're going to do a little meditation. We've got some cards. I'm going to be pulling from the... Ha, ah, the good tarot. Yes, Colette Baron reads the good tarot. So come on in and join me now as we really kind of balance our energy and focus in on the work week ahead of us. So let me know, has that full moon been affecting you? Do you notice a difference out there in the world? Can you tell? Can you tell in your body? Can you tell with your relationships to other people? Give me a hashtag moon if you notice the full moon coming in and stirring things up for you. I know for me it does, it always does, that big old full moon. New moons are different than full moons, so how is it different for you? Give me a hashtag full or new on which one it is that you prefer to watch and to feel and to know about your own energy. Let me know which it is, hashtag moon. Hey Millie, thanks, Millie's done some moving. Lots of changes going on, good for you, yay. So come on in, if you would just hit share, I'd appreciate it, it helps people find me. As we focus in on the energy, what's going on now. That moon's gonna be rising again, I saw it last night, coming up over the water. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely a time to breathe it in, to slow down, we're halfway through the year in our physical year, and enables us to see where we are. That full moon also too in our spiritual work shows us our growth, shows us the passions and the fires and desires of our life. So what is it you notice when that full moon comes around? What is it you notice? Let me know, I'd love to hear what it is for you. Do you notice the mental plane a little crazy? Do you notice your emotional body a little bit out there? Do you notice your intuitive abilities even greater? Give me hashtag intuitive if that's what you'd like to know more about as well. So let's just bring our energies together. Here it is seven o'clock. All right, I've been out. I've been celebrating. I've been on vacation. Maybe you have too. Maybe you're coming in like me, going back to the work week after the 4th of July. Yes, I've been out in the Pacific Northwest, out having fun with my kids. And now it's time to center. It's now it's time to pull our energies in together and to really be able to work with the energy of the cosmos, work with this full moon, really important. So let's just take a moment. Even if you're watching this later, let me know how the full moon affects you. And let's just take a moment 
Take a nice deep inhale and see that moon in your own mind's eye. See that moon coming up. See that illumination that it brings us all. When you look at the window at night, maybe you're outside, you can see it there. And just take a moment as we center our energy and begin to pull it in and prepare for the week ahead. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Feeling that energy connecting to the earth. So we call in our guidance, our teachers, the archangels, our own spirit guides. We ask that they to work with us and through us to surround us and protect us as we offer this work today. Taking a nice deep inhale and exhale. Feel your place, feel yourself coming into a center, taking a moment to be really present right now. It's been a great week, great weekend. That full moon is alive though. Let me know if you've noticed it. They call it the thunder moon. So here we are in the south and let me tell you, we had some thunder blasts yesterday. We were out at the medicine wheel and got drenched early on just how it is when all of that energy comes together and then downpour big shifts of energy that's what we have and actually that's the energy we're going into this week big shifts of energy so what have you noticed with that right have you noticed those outpours and those quick shifts that's what we've been seeing a lot of around here and that full moon right now in july is offering us that opportunity to really go in deeper right that's what happens when those thunder beings come around like ah and we go deeper we go deeper within and we really look at what's underneath the surface because that's what it's calling us to do right now we've also had a lot of fire signs around this full moon as well pushing us to open up pushing us to understand a deeper part of who we are and that is what is key right now really offering us tremendous insight if you allow if you slow down if you allow yourself to really ask, what's going on for me? What am I doing? Where am I changing my life right now? What is summer bringing for me? What is this full moon lighting for my own darkness and my own self? We all have it, right? We all have those dark shadows. We all have those things we're working on. So when that full moon comes in, it can help open up and light up that part for you so you can release it. Because that's what the full moon is all about. Have you noticed that for yourself? Have you noticed the ability to release or are you holding on to it? Are you letting the emotional body get bigger and bigger and bigger? Because that's what the full moon will do. Especially as born in, under the sign of cancer, the moon is my ruler. So for me, I have to be really super careful and open up and release the excess emotional energy. It doesn't mean release everything out, just the excess emotional energy. Because that's what it's calling for us to do right now. Bring to light. This is a big one for... It's like future work. It's like, what have you been working on all year? And is that growing for you? Is it nurturing and maturing in the way that you want? That's what this moon is about. What is it inside of you that really wants to come forward? And then what's getting in your way? And whatever it is that's getting in your way, let the moon come in, light it, release it out of the body and realign so that you can open up to that bigger part of who you are and that purpose that you have going forward. All right, that's what this energy is about, and we'll do that a little bit with this meditation. It offers us that opportunity to personally work on ourselves, to bring that part of us out into the world. Have you noticed that this weekend? Have you noticed yourself talking to yourself, maybe? Asking yourself a few of those questions, right? Have you noticed yourself being a little more intuitive? I noticed that around this time, too. I pick up information. I understand things better. I have a clearer picture of what's going on. Give me a hashtag intuition if you've noticed that for yourself as well under this full moon. Give me a hashtag intuition if you'd like to know more about your intuition. And I can send you my free guide. I have a free guide. Top eight reasons people block their own intuition. If you'd like that, give me a hashtag information and I will certainly be glad to follow up with you. All right. So let's take a nice deep inhale as we center our breath. We're going to first do a reading and then we'll do the meditation. So hang out with me. All right. So I drew from the Good Earth, Good Tarot, sorry, Good Tarot, Colette Baron reads cards, and their cards are just really beautiful. I bring the group in as I go to start, and this is what has come forward for us today. The first card, which is our anchor card, which is the tower. All right, the tower is all about changes, and usually they're pretty abrupt changes. So swift changes, exactly what we're talking about. Swift changes coming forward. Now, when we're in control of them, 
they can fall down so that we can rebuild because usually that's what happens afterwards is rebirth. When we're not, when we're not being mindful, we're not being aware of our own energy, it can crash down. So which is it for you this week? Being more mindful of what's going on in the changes or letting it all fall around, all right? Give me a hashtag on mindful, right? The next card that comes up is beautiful because as I just said, once things fall down, the next thing that happens is an ace of air. That's a new beginning. That's a new beginning in the thought, in the mental, and the and they're just manifesting. I love it. It's a winged horse. Magical times, all right? Magical times, new thoughts, new ideas. So let the things fall down that you need to fall down. Let them go. That's what this moon is about. Let them go, and we'll see as we move through this week, that's what it's about too. Because actually the next card that came up is the moon card. How beautiful is that? Full as can be. That's about our intuitive ability. That's about that that feminine ability to come forward. That's about opening up to listening to that guidance that our own energy has, that our own abilities have. That's what this can help you to manifest. And the next card is another ace. How beautiful is that? An ace of earth. And that's that manifesting in the physical world. That's your money. That's your work. That's your business. So yes, this is what we are being called to do. These are perfect cards for right now. Let go. Let it fall down what doesn't serve you. Right now under the light of the moon that's rising tonight. All right, the thunder moon. Then open up to new ideas. Think about things a little differently. Get outside. Sit with the earth. Swing in a hammock. I was doing that last night under the full moon. Swing in that hammock. Find new ways to bring forward new ideas, new thoughts, new beginnings. Use your intuition. Couldn't have picked a better card for tonight. Use that moon energy. Breathe it in. Open up to the mysteries of your own self, those deep mystery, those secretive, fun, sexy energy. Open up and then bring it forward in the physical world. The ace of earth. Bring it forward. That's where we start to build that business. Bring that money, money in. Bring that abundance and that prosperity. So that's what this week is about. As we mentioned before with this thunder moon, about opening up to that bigger part of you. Letting that work come forward, especially in this summer energy. Yes, it's absolutely beautiful. So just take a deep inhale. Let's bring this energy in. Give me a thumbs up if you can relate to any of those cards. Are you working on something new? Give me a hashtag new. Are you opening up to your intuition? Give me a hashtag intuition. Let me know how that works for you. All right. Now, as we go to pull our energy together for Sunday evening, I know for some people Sunday can be very anxious, put a little knot in your stomach. How is it for you? I know for myself, I had a fun week with my kids. It's kind of coming back. I worked one day last week and then was off again. And it's like, ah, here I go, jumping back into my business, starting fresh. So for many of us, it can produce a little anxiety. All right, so this will help you to calm that down and to focus the spiritual and physical body for you. How is that for you? How was Sunday evening for you? Is it hard? Give me a hard. Is it anxious? Give me an anxious. All right. Are you opening up more to your intuitive abilities as you do this? Give me intuition. Let me know how you're doing. All right. So let's just take a moment. Breathe these cards in. Where can you let go in your life? Where can you use the moon to release? And where can you refocus intuitively to bring those new ideas in and to bring them all the way into the physical form? So take a nice deep inhale. Close your eyes if you can. And exhale out. Whatever it is that needs to fall out right now. That's our anchor card. Exhale it out. Feel it dropping into the earth. Imagine, pretend, visualize. And as you breathe up from the earth, open up to all of that new energy, that new possibility. Open up. And as you exhale, let it go all the way back down deep into the earth let it go inhaling feel that breath coming up up into the heavens and as you exhale bring it all the way back down deep into the earth inhaling and exhaling and begin to align that spiritual body with the physical body Begin to feel the shoulders and shoulders, hips and hips, knees and knees, feet and feet. Bring it all together. Call back all those many parts of you. Imagine a crystal ball like this right above your head. Imagine it. 
pulling in all the energy you've scattered around all this week. See it right above your head. And let that energy just fall back in, coming back in to empower your spirit to be focused for this week. Call back in all your energy, your strength, all those little parts of yourself that you've given out to others. Pull it back in so that you can be empowered this week. Continue the breath up and down the body and then come into the heart and send it out from the heart and exhale, send it all the way back behind, opening up your auric field and then pull it in so you can empower your own spirit for this week ahead. And now let's call in our higher guidance right now. So I call in my guides and allow yourself to feel the outer edges of your aura. Turn a bright red, anything at all that's getting in your way. Turn a bright red and as we call in those guides, let them transform this, let them burn it away transform this energy that gets in your way so that your aura can be powerful and strong to manifest all those new things for you this week as you go through this energy as you move through this full moon and open up to that divine self within you inhaling let it burn away let the guides come in and help us clean up our energy for this week inhaling and exhaling sending it down deep into the earth inhaling and exhaling pulling your energy in feel that breath up and down the body feel it out in front and behind you burning away any fear any anxiety let it go. Inhaling and exhaling, sending it back down. Feeling your feet grounded on the earth. Pulling it in. Releasing out whatever's not yours and just feeling that alignment coming together. Feel the feet flat, coming back, opening your eyes, knowing, noticing how you're feeling right now. And just visualize your week. See it out there for you, clear, strong, deepening that relationship that you have with your own spirit. Bring in the energy of that moon tonight, breathe it in, Take your crystals out, let them charge. You don't have to do them all, choose one or two. This one I use at the full moon, obviously, right? It's beautiful. And then it holds clarity for me, all right? So find one for you. You can do a little moon water as well. Yeah, take this energy with you as you move through the week. Do share it. Maybe there's somebody you know that needs a little bit of help of focusing their energy. Please do, I'd love that. Give me a little hashtag intuition if you'd like my guide to the top eight reasons people block their own intuition i'd love to send you that and do come on over to the empowered spirit circle join july is going to be a lot of fun birthday's coming up and i have a lot of things to offer you guys as being part of the group all right stay strong stay centered stay focused enjoy this energy of this beautiful thunder moon see you guys soon to your spirit namaste